Eli, the full of it guy, is, well, just that full of it. He talks about computers, yet doesn't actually do anything with computers. If what he said actually worked, instead of making all his income off of YouTube, he would have some killer application or some killer computer business that just no one can match because Eli the computer guy is just so such a whiz at computers that um you know he, he would be so skilled that he'd be making all this money and YouTube would just be um a sideline just to teach people like Lewis Rossman. But Eli the full of it guy makes all his money off of YouTube and can't even use computers to have an actual job. Video is not the type of computers he's selling. The reason I say this is, do you need to watch Eli the Computer Guy to know how to upload a video to YouTube? No. So what Eli the Computer Guy, or Eli the Full of It Guy, is using to say so-called teach you as computers, you don't even need to know how to know what he's doing to do that. And I've seen that he doesn't even do tech tutorials anymore. All he does now is just long meandering rants about stupid stuff like um, burnout and all this stuff which is just you don't even talk about the real thing and look at Eli do you really want to be like him in the future what does Eli the computer guy do well he gets old his biological clock is burning fast and um, he's very arrogant the, the main thing that got me with Eli the computer guy is that um, video he was making where he said oh as a computer technician you'll be the um, you'll be the uh, skilled guy and the workers will just be the cogs they'll just be the stupid cogs and the way he said it over and over again just made it seem that he's totally disconnected from anything of reality those people that you call cogs are actually what get things to work Um, now I have a question for Eli the full of it guy so he um, you know does all these Linux videos then why does he use a Windows computer um, why does he not clarify that in his Linux videos why does he use a Windows computer and there's nothing wrong with using Windows, but saying you're Eli the full of it guy, and then teaching all these Linux courses, and then not even doing what you say, which is exactly why he's Eli the full of it guy, is what's wrong. Now, the other thing is, do you really want to be like Eli the full of it guy? Here he is, what, going on 40, and he's going to Thailand, and you know exactly why he's going to Thailand. He's going to Thailand for the women. So... Think about this. You got a guy who can't even run a computer business saying he's the computer guy, doing all his videos which don't even talk about computers. And um doing all his videos don't even talk about computers that anyone who didn't watch his videos could do. Anyone, you know, even a ten year old could do. Um b proclaiming to be Eli the full of it guy. Now, if you look at the flip hand, you have Lewis Rossman. Lewis Rossman has his own successful computer business. Lewis Rossman doesn't tout be full of it stuff. Lewis Rossman, instead of going to Thailand, being, you know, a completely, um, you know, just person who can't function normally, Lewis Rossman instead is going to the um, capital to fight for the right to repair bill. Now I ask you to look at these things closely and make a decision. And then now I don't actually hate this guy because he's not um he doesn't do anything maliciously. It's um Michael Constantino DLF on YouTube. Now if you look at Michael Constantino, let's just be honest here, he hasn't been too successful at life. Now what's the difference between Michael Constantino and Eli the Full of It guy? is that Eli the Full of It guy makes his money on YouTube and Michael Constantino does not. Now, the difference is there's nothing wrong with Michael Constantino. I actually like the guy. It's just, let's be honest here, I'm not much better, but he hasn't been too successful at life. And it just reminds you of Eli the Computer Guy if Eli the Full of It guy 
didn't make all his money on YouTube.